So let me, let me just make this really concrete for people. I have a pile of books on my desk in my office that, that uh, I got from the Library of Congress, books that have been banned. And I have more coming every day. Luckily, my Republican friends haven't censored the Library of Congress yet. Maybe, that's, uh, maybe that will be next. But let me just read from one of these books. It, it's called The Life of Rosa Parks by Kathleen Connors. It was pulled from second grade classrooms in the Duval County Public School District in Florida. So let's just see what is, what is so objection, objectionable. Quiet beginnings. When Rosa Louise McCauley was born in 1913, no one knew she'd make a stand for civil rights. Rosa lived on her grandparents' farm in Alabama. She went to a segregated school where her mother taught. Rosa had to leave school to care for her grandmother and mother when they became ill. But after she married Raymond Parks in 1932, she was able to go back, and Rosa was proud of her high school diploma. Rosa and Raymond believed everyone should be equal. They joined the NAACP in Montgomery, Alabama, hoping to help blacks gain their civil rights. Rosa worked as a secretary for the group. In 1955, Rosa boarded a bus after work in Montgomery. At the time, there was a law that said a black person had to give up their seat if a white person needed it. Rosa refused, and she was arrested. On the day of Rosa's trial, black leaders planned a boycott of all the city buses in Montgomery, Alabama. It was a big statement because many blacks used buses to get around. Rosa was fined, but she wouldn't pay. By 1956, her case had reached the U.S. Supreme Court. It declared Alabama's segregation laws illegal. This, de this decision ended the bus boycott after 381 days. Rosa's troubles weren't over. She lost her job. Some people said they wanted to hurt her. She and her family then moved to Detroit, Michigan in 1957. None of this stopped Rosa from believing in equality. Rosa continued support of the civil rights movement, earned her and Rosa's continued support of the Civil Rights Movement earned her great praise. In 1996, she was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Then Rosa received the Congressional Gold Medal in 1999. Rosa died in 2005. Today, she's often called the mother of the Civil Rights Movement. Rosa's, sto Rosa's story teaches a very important lesson. Even small actions can have a big impact. Um, so my question, uh, for Chairman Fox, um, it's very simple. It's a yes or no question. You know, Rosa Parks has a statue in National Statuary Hall. She uh, laid an honor here um, in the rotunda of the United States Capitol building when she died. And so this is a simple, non-controversial children's book about her life. Do you think that this book should be banned? Yes or no? story to me. I'm, I love the story of Rosa Parks, always have loved the story of Rosa Parks because she was a really brave woman, but I have no idea. You're asking me to give you an answer out of context, Mr. McGovern. I have no idea why that book was taken out of the second grade. I don't know reading levels. Well, I, I, I re it sounded a little high. I, I read the whole level for okay. second grade to me uh, as you read it. That well, was... Yeah. I, I thought second graders might not understand every word in there, so I have no idea. Well, I, I read the whole book. I know. Um, so there was, um, I, I, you know, and I think the concern uh, that many of us have, given what is happening in this country, um, you know, led by Republican governors and Republican legislatures all over the country, um, is that somebody just merely raising a question about a book like this. I mean, by the way, books about Martin Luther King, books about Nelson Mandela, they've also been banned. I have a, I have a long list uh, that I'd like unanimous consent to insert in the record, Mr. Chairman. Without objection. And, um, you know, and, and some of the commentary is that um, people don't, some people who object to this don't like the fact that she is referred to as a black woman, that it would be better to simply say she was asked to move to the back of the bus. Um, and so there's all these, all these kind of like ridiculous 
excuses for books like this to be banned. And the concern is that if this bill passes, and God forbid it ever became law, that it would have a chilling impact on schools and on libraries where they would be afraid that if they didn't comply with all the onerous requirements of your bill, you know, if somehow they, you know, um, were accused of, of not following everything perfectly, that they would lose all federal funding for their schools. Well, Mr. McGovern, yeah. there is not a single requirement in this bill dealing with banning of books. So I don't know what you're talking about in terms of the list of onerous requirements on banning books. There's not a single word in here about banning books. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I have well, well, first no of all, idea what you're talking well, about. Well, two things. First of all, I mean, just in answer to my question, yes or no, you, do you think this book should be banned? And the answer is? Well, obviously, I don't think the book okay, should be banned. You know, okay. Again, you're taking out of context. I have no idea. You said it's been banned. I just, yeah, yeah, it's been, it, it has been banned, and I gave you the, uh, in Duval County Duval Public County, School and District in, in Florida. Well, I don't know what that means, so. Well, that's a I district more, of Florida. I need more information on what you mean by banning a book. Have you been following any of the um, uh, debate on books that are being removed from schools? I mean, you know, I, there's a book entitled um, I Am Martin Luther King that was banned from some schools. I mean, I, I mean, you're the education committee. I mean, I, are, you, are you guys following any of, uh, any of that? Mr. McGovern, I follow as much information about what's happening in terms of education as I possibly can, but... I have not seen yeah. anything on that. But it, your definition of ban is something I don't understand. I don't know what the definition is. Ranking, 